When it comes to Hall of Famers, a lot of them tend to have similar backgrounds. Big time high school prospects who played at great college programs before starring in the NFL. But that's not always the case. Take Larry Allen, for example. The Hall of Fame offensive lineman attended four different high schools growing up. He then played in junior college before going to Sonoma State University, a Division II school. Despite playing in an obscure place, he knew he had the talent to be a pro. So he was never concerned about not getting noticed. Yeah, I had one coach tell me, if you're good enough, they'll find you. And I uh, was fortunate enough that the scouts were looking at a receiver on my team, and uh, I ran a 40 for him, and I guess the rest is history. I guess. Word of Allen's athleticism quickly got around to NFL scouts. He was selected in the second round of the 1994 NFL Draft by the Dallas Cowboys. Then, in his rookie season, everyone got to see Allen's athleticism on display. In a Monday night football game, the 325-pound Allen ran down speedy linebacker Darian Connor after an interception. It's a play Allen and Cowboy fans still remember well. The week, week during practice leading up to the game, uh, my coach was getting on me for uh, covering the ball if the interception was thrown. When we got in the game, I just, <laughs> I just clicked. So I just ran, ran and caught him. The promise Allen showed on that play would be fulfilled over the next several years. He played 12 seasons for the Cowboys before closing his career in San Francisco. He was selected to 11 Pro Bowls and helped the Cowboys win Super Bowl 30. He was named to the NFL's all-decade teams in the 1990s and 2000s, and he was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2013. Oh, it was just a great feeling just to be um, considered one of the best of the game. One of the most athletic and dominant guards football has ever seen, Larry Allen is truly a legend of the game.